Howdy, hello, and welcome everyone to another episode of Game Chaz. My name is Chaz Rorick, and thanks for tuning in to our fourth episode of Nuts. This is the game about squirrel surveillance that we've been playing for, yeah, three episodes now. This may be the very last episode of the Nuts playthrough. I have a suspicion we're getting very close to the end. I don't know that for sure. But I'm, I, we feel like we're coming to a conclusion point. Uh, so if you had tuned in last time, you will have known we, we fell down a ravine. Big news. Um, again, squirrels are doing all kinds of nefarious, odd things like surrounding our camper. One still has TNT. Uh, and one stole our journal at the end of the last episode that we needed to prove that uh, something was amiss in this forest. That a developer was either illegally developing it. Something like that. Uh, so... We're going to hop back into this game for, again, what I think is the last episode. We'll see. Um, but I'm very excited to, uh, to to finally solve the mysteries of this wacky and wild woodland. So let's go ahead and uh, hit continue and get going. And thanks so much for those who have watched the, the first couple of episodes. This game has been a blast. Um, again, I do have a, a TikTok. You're welcome to go and check that out. I put up some some gameplay clips on there. Um, but we are we are diving right into this right off the bat. So, what do we got here? Uh, yes, we left off last time. We have one squirrel left to get. We are in this brand new area that we fell down into with all these wrecked cars. We have this old caravan that would appear to be Nina's, um, if we were to guess. There's a bed in here. There's an old phone and an old equipment setup for um, for tracking squirrels, for, for monitoring and surveillance. Uh... But we need to figure out where these cameras are so we can actually find the squirrel that stole our journal. I believe that is our objective. Um, yeah, everything's kind of broken and cracked. Um, but let's go out and see see what we can find here. We see that there are cameras pointing in several locations. One is right by this waterfall. Two... I can't really tell what two is... Oh, two's looking right at our camper. This is right at our camper. If you can see that, uh, my face isn't covering it. And number one, does this do anything? No, it's pointing at some like oil drums, oil barrels. So let's exit and see if we can find these cameras. Is there anything else we had here? Uh, no, we just find these cameras and go from there, it would appear. So I see, uh, is that one camera? I think so. Yeah, I think there's a camera up in this car. Come on, can you get up there? You can. Yeah, here it is. One camera just in the middle of an abandoned Buick. <laughs> uh, okay, found the camera. It's missing its tripod. There's a tripod in the caravan. So let's put the camera down. Hopefully don't break it. Could be a Sony or something. Can I grab the tripod? Oh, I can't grab the tripod. There's these ones out here. Can I grab one of these? No. Oh, I can just put the camera on. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, that's our camera two. Um, we've got two other cameras to find. One, yeah, one's near a waterfall. So this giant rock slide area is where we fell down into after we were chasing a squirrel, of course. Music's a little creepy. Oh! Perfect. Here, here's another camera. Amazing. Didn't even have to look that far. Uh, let's put this on its tripod. There we go. This was camera one. Amazing. And camera three is near a waterfall. Uh, come on. Hop. Hop. There we go. I assume it's going to be over this way. This is a really fascinating environment. This is different than other ones we've been in. Obviously, there's old abandoned stuff all over the place. Um, yeah, just all these cars. Huh. There's still so many mysteries about this place. Um, there's our camera. The last one. A beautiful waterfall. Sorry, waterfall's a little loud. <laughs> um, we learned last time that this... Uh, there was publications that were fabricated to show that our research was not what it appeared to be. Um, Nina was getting barraged with like men in suits asking her questions. 
Simon, the guy that is bringing us our cameras, is missing. He's just gone. He hasn't showed up. I don't know if the squirrels took him. Now we have a phone call. Pizza delivery. The key works? Oh, it does. Incredible. They really made stuff a lot sturdier back then. Tough. Listen, I'm still trying to get hold of the rescue team, but I'm hearing that there's storms in the area that are preventing helicopter landings. I'll keep putting pressure on, so I don't be see ready any storms. And in the meantime, see if you can get that journal back. I just see a violet haze. Alright, to get our journal back. Anything left in our journal here? No. We have cameras. And... There it is. Oh, it's right there. It... I can't get close enough to the squirrel. I can at least take a picture for Nina. Yeah, it showed up right there. Just, just hanging out. We have our old beat up camera. Let's go ahead and do grab it. Look at him. He's got our little red diary and it, uh, it snagged it from us. So let's put it in the fax machine. Nina will see it. Maybe she knows the squirrel's name. Maybe it's uh, Friedrich. Is this Friedrich? Watching your journal sure looks like my Bella. 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 I rescued her 15 years ago after a fox killed her mother. Oh no. She was a mischievous one too. Anyway, if you can't catch her during the day. These phones always cut out. And that's suspicious too. Uh, let's see. Our new journal says, I think I have to find out where the squirrel goes. Uh, I'm going to try to get her to call back. Sometimes this works. It did. <laughs> it error did. Hello? What's the little thief up to now? She calls just to say that. She hasn't even asked me if I've eaten. I have no food, no toilet paper, nowhere fun to to, to play. I can't text my friends. Everything is everything's bad, Nina. This job stinks. Uh okay, so we have a squirrel. We gotta track it just like we've done many times before. Let's anticipate where it's gonna go. So it's gonna leave this tree, it's probably gonna go down. I think it's gonna head towards the waterfall. So I'm gonna put one like here and see if it, it goes down that way. If it doesn't go towards the waterfall, I think it goes somewhere in the rest of this mess of cars. So some in some way we will catch it in the in the act of leaving its tree. Let's close this door because Again, these woods are... They're... I don't know who the evil, like, who the villain is yet. I don't know if it's the institute that put us up to the research. I don't know if it's the developer trying to develop the woodlands. I don't know if it's the squirrels that are sentient and deviously devising a plan for our death. I don't know. Um, can we go to bed, though? Can we... Oh, I have to record first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Let's record. Night one in our... Our very ramshackle area. Ugh, these monitors are, are kind of gross. Oh, I don't have lights. This is just like some old... What is moving out? Oh, it's, I think it's rain? It might be rain. Looked a little creepy. Uh, okay, so we have all our, our cameras lined up. Wait. I had one camera looking at the tree. They're not all looking at the tree anymore. Did I accidentally pick it up without realizing because I'm stupid? Or I there was one looking at the tree. I know it. Okay, well one bounded <laughs> one bounded right by that camera. Let's zoom in because he's such a cutie pie. <laughs> That's the best, that's the closest I've gotten a picture of a squirrel. I'm definitely going to print it because I love it. Let's go to our little thing. You probably can't see it's behind my head. But I'm printing, I'm printing that photo because I love it. And that way I know Bella. Look at cute red Bella. You went from yellow to red. Uh, that's some, some Wizard of Oz type changes. Uh, okay, let's, <laughs> let's back up way out here. Let's go slow. I assume this means slow. And see if we can't catch it in camera two or three. I am still a little 
unsure what happened. I'm certain... Oh, okay, it's popping up in two. You can probably see it just in the corner by my face and then it hopped down. So where are we... We're so... We're right at the beginning of this playback. Oh, there it is in three. You can see it up in three. Here it is. Uh, let's zoom in. So it's heading straight out from three. Keep playing. It was still in three. It was bounding right through these these bushes. You could oh you could still see it way way in the distance. Like yeah, way out there you could still see it. Um, let's back up a little bit. Yeah, you can see him right there. Okay, great. I'm glad we got something out of this because again, if I move the camera and it was just me being dumb, I'm really peeved with myself. That could be the case. It could be the case. I'm not sure if we can get through there, though. Like, it went through this fenced-off area in three. I'm gonna have to see if we can actually go out that way. Let's really fast forward here. I might be missing something, but... I mean, the squirrel went way off into the distance, so I don't think there's anything else we can get from these vantage points. Oh! And this these cameras go a little longer. Like, that went until a minute nine. I think the other sets went until just one minute. Uh, hmm. Okay, okay. So we need to go set up... It went directly away from camera three. Yeah, I'm a little... I swear this camera moved. It was pointing at the tree, I think. Hmm. Well... For whatever it's worth, it's day three. And it was pointing directly straight from camera three. Or it's day, it's day two, and it was pointing directly straight. Yeah, I think it moved this. Did it move it? Maybe I moved it. Maybe I'm dumb and I just was like, oh, well, I'll point it in a direction. <sighs> these squirrels are... When did these get back on here? This place is so creepy. Things are just happening and I don't want them to happen. Oh! Oh, you can go through here. Oh, this opens up so much more room. Well, oh, this is gonna take a while. Um, part of me thinks it went through that little crevice. What is that? Oh. Some more oil drums. Oh, this is the river. Can I cross this? Oh, I don't like die here. Okay, okay, so I crossed that, that's good. That's good. So I apologize, this might be a little loud. Uh, <laughs> I might have to see about turning the, the music down. It was very quiet early in the game, but as it's gotten more intense, the, the volume has gone up, which I can appreciate. It's very intense, very dramatic, very creepy, but it's pretty loud. <laughs> uh, camera two. Let's set up camera two. And we're just guessing at this point where the squirrel went once it came this way. There's a lot of room over here, so I don't figure it went like across this bridge. This bridge is out. Um, so unless it went to that island... Oh! It's a boat! Can I use that to get across? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But let's set it up here, looking this way, so we'll, maybe we'll catch it you know, heading off another direction. I keep thinking those oil barrels are something else. And we'll grab our third camera. We know it comes in here. It's gotta be going somewhere in here. And capture a third angle. I hate these out of the blue phone calls. Let's close this. 
Hello. Are you on the trail? Good. No, I'm in the caravan. Get the journal back from her soon. Look, it's bad here. The whole institute has been closed up. They even changed the locks. And there's been no sign of Simon either. I'm scared, to be honest with you. I don't really know what's going on. All I know is that your records are the only evidence we have at the moment. Where did your copies go? Where did your copies go? You were telling me about safekeeping and stuff, and now I'm the only one with copies? Don't leave that up to me. I'm an intern. Or a post-grad. Either way, I'm not getting paid that much, I'm sure. Hmm. Suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Um... Where's our cam- oh. Last camera to track you. You! Oh, it's looking at me. Okay, I'm gonna run. <laughs> I can't tell if the squirrels are good or bad. Why would- mm, I don't know. I really don't know. So I kind of suspect it went this way because there's so much room over here to maneuver. Oh, we have like a whole dock. Whatever this is. You know what? I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to do a little bit of wandering. This isn't to try to get ahead. I just... <laughs> these environments are so interesting. And I love these trees. They're like banyan. Or banyan. I think banyan trees. Huh. Yeah. So there's this raging river. This, this dock... That's... One dock is working. The rest, like, the bridge has been blown out. Um... Curious. Curious, curious. Do I have my GPS still? Oh, thank goodness. These environments aren't huge. But they're a little scary. I didn't want to get lost, and... I can't call mom for help now, because <laughs> I just tumbled down this big ravine. Okay. I feel good about our camera placements, though. Close that up. I have no food or anything still. This is... this is tragic. Let's record for night two. I feel good about this. I feel good. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Let's play. It's gonna be a bit until it pops up, because we know it doesn't pop up until, uh... Maybe it was ten seconds or so that it comes around the bend, and I have a feeling we're gonna see it in three. But maybe two... oh, let's put this way. I just need to capture it in one camera. That's really... That's really all I need. I haven't seen it yet. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Right here in three, it looked like something moved, and I feel like I could see it. There's more than one again. Ooh. Not where I expected... <laughs> I, I didn't know what to expect, but I didn't expect there to be multiples. Uh, slow mode. Uh, there's at least two. One. Two. Is there a third I missed just ahead of it? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. I'm glad I caught them somewhere. That was really the main gist. I, I want to catch them at some point. At 40, basically 40 seconds, we see them going to the left through the... Is that a third one? I think that is a third one. Right? One. Two. Three. There's three of them. Mm hmm. It's fine. So we caught them at about 40 seconds, going through the crevasse of camera three. Now, I'd really prefer it if it showed up in one or two or two. Oh, perfect, perfect setup. Wow, that's really lucky. So we capture them bounding across the view of camera two. If you can't see it, they like leave in that <laughs> side of the camera. That's where they are in two. They went to the right in camera two at like 42 seconds. Now, if they show up in one, I will have hit the camera placement jackpot. 
I kind of think they might have. It's such a odd bunch of debris to not include in, like, their path. I'm also checking, like, all the other cameras still to see if they looped back. It's great. Like, this surveillance, it, it keeps you on edge a little bit. It, it keeps you very, um... Very, like, uh, hyper-focused on, on any movement that might pop up in any of the cameras. So... We're nearing the end. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Regular play. Okay. I believe our our bet now is I'm sorry, I just have to I have to look one like real quick time as we as we rewind. Did they show up in they weren't in camera one, were they? No. No. They bound along after two. They don't show up in one, right? Staring so long my eyes started twitching. Uh Okay, to <laughs> <laughs> to the right of camera two. There we go. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna go where at about forty seconds they go to the right of camera two, and that's our best lead. That's what we'll stick with. So, stand up, go to bed. I can't go to bed this time. Like the only way to trigger the next day is to to leave, which is interesting. Maybe we don't find this little misshapen cot to be comfortable, and I can understand. To the right of camera two, they went to the right of camera two right of camera two and this keeps does this keep getting covered by rocks no no never mind i can take these rocks though and put them places hey yeah <laughs> okay right of camera two let's go get camera two this is camera three which we're going to bring along and set up near camera two so they didn't go the direction of one. Oh, they might have because this one i placed this way. So they bounded right along the water to the right this way. So I feel like they went up over this ridge. See if we can track them there. And we'll set one, you know, even higher up this this little incline. Our character can really jump. I like it. <laughs> so hmm. Let's put one here. There's no way they're getting across the river. Right? Not a chance. Did Squirrel swim? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Where could they go? Are they going up this tree or something? Or any of these? Um, hmm. There's not much left over here to, to go to. Unless, to, can they go up here? And like, up this? Oh, they could. I don't think so. Okay. Alright. We've set up some cameras. Um, I think our best bet... These are very close to each other. That's okay. That's alright. Um, they're all pointing in the general direction we saw them go. So that feels like a safe and useful bet. Oh, oh! I didn't notice that last time. There's a there's a recording. Let's take it. Okay, in case you can't hear, I'm glad there's there's subtitles. Oh no, I'm getting a call. Uh, okay, we're gonna pause. We're gonna pause the recording. Um, unfreeze. Uh, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Hello? Look, I... I can't believe I have to tell you this. Nobody's coming. The rescue team can't come out with the threatened storm. The rangers say you should sit tight for a week or so, but... There's worse. I found What's worse? I found changing the date on their dam project. It'll happen soon. They think... They think nobody will care, given those doctor newspaper stories. I think you... You need to find a way to cross the river to to get yourself out of the forest. I'm still here. I'm still trying to find someone who will help. But you, 
should prepare yourself the essentials. Be ready to move. Where is this reserve? <laughs> no one can come out. It's not that mountainous. It's it's kind of we have all this flat terrain to use. You could get a, a rover in here or something. Uh so we've been told we're basically on our own. That's what we just got told. We also have our recording that I didn't finish, so let's pull this up and, and keep listening while it's relatively quiet. Ah, uh, Bella. There you are, my precious girl. I'm sorry I won't be here to watch you grow up. Bella. But Mammoth Forest, feel lucky to live in this ancient wonder. And I hope the work I do outside will keep you safe. Such poses. You know I can't resist one last picture of you for my collection. It's all right, Bella. I'll be okay. No, go on, girl. Go. So what was that about? <laughs> it was clearly about Bella, captured here in the finest resolution, that Nina was finishing up her time in Melmoth, it seemed. Like, it, this was the, the end of her journey, and it sounded like at the end either a helicopter was coming or something, which I think she mentioned, but... So she, she seemed to value the work. Like, I think she's a good person. She seems to value the work. It's her life she put into this, and now it's our task. And there's all these kind of pieces that she left of her own time here in the forest, in that, like, outcropped, um, I don't even know, like a lean-to, uh, in the old caravan, out in the, the first couple of areas, these cassettes. So she seems legit, but a little too legit still, and I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. I, I don't know, I want to trust her, though, so this is, this is tough, but let's, let's sit and record for night three. Let's see what we've got. Also, is it a beat red sky again? No. Thank goodness. The last episode, the sky was just beat red, and it freaked me out. And that's when we tumbled down the cliff and ended up in a beat up van down by the river. So, <laughs> wait, sit back down. We're, we're tired. Let's uh, let's sit and let's play. We, again, won't see anything until about 40 seconds, so let's zoom up right to about 40. We'll play it normal, normal speed. Yeah, why not? And I think we'll capture them in camera three first, potentially. Y yep, okay, there they are. They're up in the top of camera three. I just kind of want to make sure you can see it in the recording. They jump, they bound. Ooh, tricky. They are in the tree. Uh, if I can zoom here. Yeah. There they are. Now, what are they doing? Are they crossing the river? Is this all three of you? <laughs> they, just, they just jump into nothingness. Oh, I'll put this away. Is that it? They jump from three into nothing and that's all we can see of them? Okay. That's fine. Sure. Sure. That's fine. I'm, I want to make sure I didn't miss them in, in this other camera by chance. Just double checking. <laughs> it's so funny seeing them, watching them jump in reverse. They <laughs> just voop. <laughs> oh, no, go backwards. Sorry. Yeah. That's like our only angle. So, this branch of camera three is what they jump out of. Okay. 
Okay, let's go to the next day then. That is the thing they jump out of. That branch in camera three. That branch in camera three. That branch in camera three. I'm gonna forget if I don't endlessly repeat this to myself. Let me get this up so I know where I'm going. Let's put a little pep in the step. It was the first camera we placed too. Uh, it was that tree. So they must jump over there. That can be the, the only thing I'm thinking of is that they do jump over that way. Oh, come on, come on. I don't know our name. So I wish I could <laughs> say hurry up name. That must be the way, must be the way. So let's just get a whole bunch of angles on them right here. Catch them, they've been punked and we'll, I guess we'll take a picture at the last time that we can possibly see them. Unless there's another way to get over that direction. I don't think so. I mean, we can put a camera right at the end of this dock. I guess that doesn't hurt. Can I just take this boat across? I mean, I can get to that little island. I feel like this island is important for some reason. Hop, hop, hop. Like, why would we be able to go over to just this island? It feels... I feel like there should be something else here, but I don't think there is. That tree? That's a, a thick something. Uh, all right, let's go back. Let's record. We've got, I think, the right camera set up to at least get some footage here. Um, yeah, let's start with this. I mean, this is already... It's going on a little longer than I thought. This is a good... A good final challenge is to, to locate this family of squirrels. Oh, we're getting another call. Uh, okay, okay, let's close this. I'm cold. Mom? I'm calling from the road and Don't pick me up. I've had to leave town for the moment. I'm oh not leaving. Jeez. I'm trying to escalate my complaints, trying to get someone with power involved. The government. Listen, Your state senator. You or state assembly member. Out of there. You have to. And when I'm you working do, on it. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, no. Really? If if the waters rise high enough, your photos will be the only remnants of life in Mammoth Forest. Get them out of there and we'll we'll show the world. Good luck. I believe in you. Thanks. How is it the only evidence of life? We are in a <laughs> uh, It's not gonna flood everything. L I, l look, I Geomorphology would tell us that this river is going to rise as high as the highest floodplain, and it's not rising up there. <laughs> and this little bugger came from up there. Oh, they're kind of cute, actually. No, wait, you're, you're mean. Could I almost just take the diary right from you? I felt the mouse. The mouse gave, like, a little... Oh, it gives us kind of the option to grab it. It doesn't let us. I feel like that's a... We're not supposed to be able to grab it while it's here. I don't think. Give it to me. Give it to me. Err. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> that would be too easy. Um, I forgot everything I was saying. But yeah, the, the river's not going to rise to the height, like, where it's going to wipe out life. Places like this flood and animals go to higher ground and stuff. And she's very much like, this is it. Your copies of this are the only way we stop this development from happening. But she said she was keeping copies. That's why we faxed everything. No one even uses fax anymore. So I'm just, I'm a little curious. That's all. But let's play and get maybe our final evidence as to the squirrel's activity to get our journal, get our photos, and get out of here before something bad happens. Okay. Play it normal right here. There they go. One, two. Not all three. Huh. Because there were three squirrels. There are three that we were chasing originally, and now there's only those two. So that third one feels kind of important. What I'm going to do is try faxing her a picture 
of the squirrels on the other side here. It's a terrible quality image. I'm going to print it. And try faxing this to her. Operator, get me Nina. So two of them jumped across, one didn't. That third went somewhere else, and now we have to find that third one. Man, this is this is taking a bit. This is this one is a little more of a challenge. Okay, so we know where the two go. Now we just have to find the other one, which would be going the other way from the base of the that tree in camera three and two. So let's let's go. Also, at this point, that diary, that journal, is completely soaked. There's no way that's not completely soaked. <laughs> um, still worth it. Maybe I have that uh, that waterproof paper that you use for like field notes. I used it in college a number of times and it was cool. Whatever, however they make the waterproof paper, it's it's cool. Science is fun. Science is fun, kids. Uh, let's, let's hop up our hill. Hop, hop. Now, one squirrel did not go this way. So I assume it went this way. And if it went this way, but it didn't go this way because we didn't see it. So maybe it went that way. And if it didn't go that way, maybe it went directly. Oh, are we stuck? We're stuck. Come on, hop. It doubled around back. Maybe this way. This is. I'm running out of ideas here, so I'm hoping this is a solution. Let's point it that way. So we. Oh, we already have one pointing that way. Maybe let's let's kitty corner it a little bit, like that. So, wherever this squirrel goes, we're gonna find it. There's no way we don't. And if I have to backtrack anymore, I'm gonna be not the most happy camper. And you know what isn't also happy? My camper. <laughs> my camper is in utter disrepair. I miss my real camper, for being honest. Any calls? No. Okay. I feel like that was the last time we'll hear from Nina. I, I I suspect, but let's fast forward again. We're getting good at this these mechanics, and let's play. Put that away. Uh, I feel like we're gonna see them. At least one of them in camera one. It's right around now that some of them are heading up the tree, so one's got to be heading. Elsewhere, right? I don't see it. I don't see it! Oh. Wait. Is that it there? No, no, no. This way. This way, this way. This, this way. <laughs> oh. It's just part of the tire. I thought it was sitting in there, curled up, reading a good book. <laughs> okay, day six. <laughs> uh, where did it? Where could that one have gone? Oh, you. You're not getting rid of the diary either, which is interesting to me. It's like holding on to it. I'm gonna point it this other way. Like one maybe just doesn't even come up here at all. Come on. Up, 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 up. There you go. Yeah, why not? Let's point one like this way, right at the boat. And then we'll point one, you know, back behind us. And, cause it's not coming this way. It just, it isn't. Uh, let's set one up here. We'll catch it going that way somehow. And this one, um, maybe way out here. Like we'll we'll see it bounding along the shoreline. You never know. You never know. Cause I was wondering. This island feels important. Maybe it is heading to the island after all. Two of them crossed the river. One of them went to the island for a fun little. I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> I see you up there, Bella. I think your name's Friedrich. Bella's record. 
Night six. We are absolutely crushing these these nights and days at this point. It's all blurring. It's all blurring for us. Fast forward, but not quite as far. Maybe to. F okay. 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 Hold on. Uh, camera one. Camera one. Zoom. 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 Oh, is this where they split off? This might be where they split off. It. Wait a second. It wasn't. So all three of them are still coming towards camera one. What am I missing? What am I missing here? Okay, now, now I'm just unsure what I'm doing wrong. I caught all of them coming towards camera one. That feels like a starting place. I'm not even going to bother closing up the camper this time. Because <laughs> I... How am I missing one of them? I assume it's just like it's going up a tree. Because I see all, all three of them come this way. But... Two go up the tree, this tree, and one doesn't. So I'm going to aim you right on the other side of where they were facing. I'm going to put you uh, right there to see where the third squirrel ends up. And then it's not going this way at all. So this one, I need like the third angle in this general vicinity <laughs> uh yeah sure right there there's no way this squirrel is gonna escape us no way <laughs> this is going so much longer than i thought it might i'm glad though it's it's a uniquely designed game and i uh Sometimes I worry about them being, you know, too short, and you're kind of like, oh, is it, it's just going to be a kind of a quick experience. This is really a full-blown, exciting, interesting, mysterious game. So let's play it again. Spittle a little bit out of anguish. Play. Camera one, I should see all three. Bound. Happily. Wait a... W wait. Oh, uh, hmm. Okay, okay. Hold on. Let's zoom in <laughs> everything on that tree. Camera one, go. Camera two. Go. And we got camera three. Only two go up. Where does that third one go? Right? Unless two of them are just so... <laughs> merged together? It, like, just... It, it. I'm... I... Uh, I'm not getting anything from them. I'm going to try faxing it in the morning. The same picture. So we're out of luck with Nina. She's, she's not calling back. Were we supposed to try to, like, climb up that tree? Because again, one either doesn't climb up, or, oh no, oops, there we go. Can we climb up this? Oh, 
Oh no! I think I was. I didn't jump. I didn't jump properly. Ooh, oh, just a little, a little moist. That's fine. A little moist. Um, wait, did we make it? No, we didn't. I was supposed to follow them. I didn't need the picture at all. Nina is is running from the feds. This is our escape route that the squirrels are showing us. That didn't sound good. Nina. We did make it. That's the other side. <gasps> Squirrel, can I take a picture? Thank you. I don't have a journal anymore because you took it, so I have to drop this on the ground. <laughs> it's so loud, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hello. I see you guys. Is there any secrets over here? Wow, that's a churning river. Oh my. Is the river rising? I feel like the river might be rising, and I... <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh, it is rising. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, good, good thoughts, squirrels. Great thoughts. Okay, I'll get on with you. This is absolutely hilarious, and I love every bit of it. Um, what does this say? Construction panorama. This is from the development company? Look at all their nuts. <laughs> oh, I'm keeping this photo. I'm putting it on the boat, but I'm keeping it. I'm gonna put it in your stash. This is so funny. They... They knew it was coming. This is like their secret little hidey hole. I love this so much. <laughs> they stored... They stored all their acorns in the storage bins. Wow. Wow. This is great. Now what do I do here? Do you have a leader? You guys look like you're part of the council. Oh, you're so curious looking. Aww. You have a ton of stuff up here, guys. This is great. What's this? It's my journal. Thank you. I'm gonna put the photo I took of you. <laughs> I'm gonna take my photo and put it in my journal. And actually, I'm gonna take a whole bunch more pictures because you guys are absolutely incredible. Um, we'll <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this, but I kind of feel like it's important to be doing this. Oh, maybe I should take a picture of the, the boat with the name Panorama on it. Oh no, it might be flooded though. Let's see. Let's see. Put it this way. I can't see it. Yeah, this is quite a storm. I kind of don't want to get off the boat. Oh, can I not get off now? Oh no, it doesn't let me off. Shoot. Ow, 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 ow. You guys are my favorites. You know that? You guys are awesome. I guess let's go up to the captain. Hello, sir. How may I help you today? You got your nuts and your, uh... Gyroscope? What is that? Um, I guess let's listen to this. It's so loud. Oh. I can't tell you how much I love that boat. beautiful morning in Mammoth Forest, and I'm your host, Nina. <laughs> I woke up this morning to rain on the roof and Bella's beady little eyes peering in the window. Now, the sun is shining so bright I can hardly see. And the smell. <sighs> the smell of the warm forest after rainfall is incredible. It's one of my favorite smells, Someone too. Someone should bottle it up and sell it. No, 
No, it's good that it's just here. <laughs> it's just for me and yeah, don't sell it. Here in the right place at the right time. I've been taking so many photos here for my research and thinking this is the only way most people get to see Mammoth. I get to live it. This ancient place. It's been here since forever. It'll outlive us all. I just I hope my research can share this wonder with others. Well, that's enough pondering for one day. It's time to get to work. Time to set up the cameras again. But I'm looking forward to the hike. I wonder if Bella will join me today. We're we're on the boat. We're on the boat. We got an achievement called Thanks with the little squirrels. Oh. Oh, nice. <sighs> Published by Noodle Cake. <sighs> it's funny to see how much you have changed. Sounds like Nina. Yeah. So we had Alma, who's the audio voice of Nina. June, her design and development. Paul Clarissot with the art. Charlene Putney with the writing. Torfi with design and development as well. To those guys, and certainly the publisher, what a fun, cute, interesting little game. And a lot left to, like, think about and ruminate about. Um, yeah. I'll let this roll for a little bit, then I might, I might cut a little bit out of it, but, uh... This is awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cut to the end, give some credit where it's due, and, and review it, um, but this is awesome. So we'll, we'll see you in just a quick moment. Be right back. All right, so I think we are back now. Credits just ended. Oh, that was so sweet. And a lovely song at the end there, too. Um, and that's it. And we're, we're back to the menu here. Um many different thoughts. So the ending there, the, the squirrels guided us to this boat that was going to save us from uh, from this flood. Basically, it led us out onto this river and, and get us free. There was, there was no other way to get to us, um, and the squirrels were the one that led us to their full boatmobile. <laughs> uh, and and we, we floated down the river on this, this boat that they had made their home. Uh, in this woods that have have clearly been interrupted by a lot of human activity. You know, there were all these cars trashed there, all this old infrastructure and pipes and other stuff. Um, and we, uh, we, we, I don't know if we were helping them or they knew we were helping them, but in the end they did guide us to this, to safety either way. Um, and if I look here and I pick load game, interestingly, I'm not at 100%. Um, I think that is the, the end. It's possible I missed a, a tape recording somewhere along the way. That's kind of what I think I missed to, to miss that 100% mark, um, which is too bad. And if people want or if I want, I, I might go back and see if I can find it, see if I can't get that 100% mark. But that was the conclusion. It, there's still a lot of unanswered questions here about, you know, what... Did the development core actually get what they wanted? Were we able to get free and, and use our photos of the squirrels on the boat <laughs> to basically say you can't develop here? Look, here's the squirrels. Um, was our institute actually good? They put us up to this job, so I'd think so. The boat had panorama on the side of it. That feels strange. Um, there... Yeah, there's a lot of unanswered questions, but overall, a, a, a tremendous, tremendous game. A, a, a really lovely job put together by the developers that, that you see there, um, as well as the full team, a, a pretty good, you know, studio team behind this. And it, it's a beautiful artistic design, unlike really any other game any other game I've played. The surveillance system was unique, setting up the cameras, um, finding ways to record them and, and track the squirrels while still continuing the, the mystery storyline behind the woods themselves. Getting to know Nina, our professor and our mentor, and her involvement with the woods. I was, for most of the game, not sure about her, if she was behind anything bad or not. I think she was good, and this was truly just her life's work, really trying hard to protect these squirrels who she knew were special. 
through her bond with Bella at the very end, which was the squirrel that we found at the very end. And it might even be the squirrel that's <laughs> popping up on our screen here. Uh, who knows? But a charming, charming game. Um, you know, I, I don't necessarily rate these games or anything, but if I were to rate it, my little logo is a jellyfish. So this game gets six out of five jellyfish for me. Very fun, absolutely worth the purchase. Unique, charming, uh, a blast to play. I had a lot of fun, and hopefully you did too, following along this series. Um, so if you liked it, feel free to leave this video a, a like. Feel free to leave a comment what you thought about the series, about the game. Any, you know, recommendations if you've played it, should I go back and, and try to get that 100% mark or figure out what I missed? Uh, share the video if you'd like, and feel free to subscribe. I have other games coming up, and I'm very excited to release them very soon. And other than that, that's about it. That wraps up Nuts, a, a wonderful little game. Uh, so thank you so much for, for tuning along for this series. It's my first full series on this YouTube YouTube channel, so I, I appreciate it. You know, any, any feedback you got, I love it. I'll take it. So with that, though, I will leave it here. I bid thee adieu. So I hope you have a wonderful, delightful, lovely, and fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.